guys, welcome to our Creality channel. Today we will do a BL Touch installation tutorial on our Ender 3 pole for the people who are new or they need a refresh. Let's open the box and see what inside. We have the menu, BL Touch, Rank Pin Board ISP Pin Board Burner The Connector Tie and the Screws Now we install the BL Touch First, install the BL Touch on the ring with these two screws by this side Insert this white connector into the VL touch. Second, we want the rank cover. Put the VL touch frame on the corresponding position. Then put the fans on the top, tying the screws. Next, loosen the screws and take the motherboard cover off. Connect the ISP pin board to the motherboard and connect to the computer. Make sure that you insert the correct side, then the light will be on. Ding, ding, ding. Then, refresh the firmware. First, download the BL Touch firmware on our official download website. Click on the project software. Select this 12A4P, then continue. Revise this data to D6. DC FD then click the white Next, know the BL Touch has file you download just now click auto then the firmware will go flashing Okay, that's what we did for the flashing After that, we can remove the ISP pin board and the seat access kit Insert this screen cable into this tent pin board and then insert this black connector to this 3 pin board. The other white connector insert back to the Z access port and insert the pin board into the main board. Take off and remove the end stop. Place the motherboard cover back. Organize the cables. Finally, let's do the plan fault adjustment. First, we select the bed leveling to check how's the running for the BL touch. Next, rotate the distance between the nozzle and the heat bed. Go to the move seat access menu, you have three options to adjust the distance. 1mm and 0.1mm are the priority option for you to do the adjustment. 
which help you to avoid the nozzle to hit the heat bed. Then we have a data from Z axis by this printer. We call it data A and write it down. Next, mark down the Z offset data. We call it data B. It could be any numbers. Data A and data B, we have the data C. We write this offset data directly to be the data C. Go back to the main menu to do the store setting. That's what we did today. Thanks for watching and happy every day. See you next time.